everything you're seeing right now is happening in the cloud. That includes all storage, all media, and this very Premiere Pro session. And then we screen record it locally to see what the quality is. Now, the first thing you want to realize is the green indicator below. If that light is green, that means no frames are being dropped in the cloud. This first clip is 4K UHD Blackmagic RAW. This is 4K UHD Blackmagic RAW with a LUT applied. Now this, on the other hand, is a 4K UHD H.264. This is still a 4K UHD H.264, but now we have a real-time Lumetri color effect applied. This is still a 4K UHD H.264 with a real-time Lumetri color effect applied, plus a title. And lastly, we have a four-way split with Multicam, all with HD H.264s. Hang on a minute. I bet you're wondering just how we got here. Let's start from the beginning. Hey everyone, today we're gonna take a look at how cloud editing handles a real world editing example. And in this video, we're gonna focus on the playback quality. Before I show you the playback quality, I need to do some basic housekeeping and share my setup with you for some context. This is how this particular cloud editing example is set up. I'm using Bebop Technology, which has all of the computers, including the editing computer and storage, and they're located in a public cloud data center. I'm securely connected to that data center and only the keyboard, mouse, audio, and computer screen information are being sent between my home setup and the cloud. I'm also using a zero client at my home office for the best experience possible. Now here's a rough idea of where I am in Southern California. And Google Earth tells me I'm about 350 miles from the data center, depending on which route I take. My ping test to the data center, which shows my latency or delay, shows that I'm at about 23 to 24 milliseconds. This is pretty good, as you usually wanna stay under 60 to 70 milliseconds if possible. Here's the bandwidth that I have at my home office, which is actually really overkill for what I need. Bebop really only needs 20 to 50 megabits per second or so per HD computer screen. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using a zero client, which is effectively just a dumb terminal. It works much better than using my laptop or desktop to connect to the computers in the cloud. Uh, this is because there's no OS or background processes to go through. This means better performance and a much snappier response. Here's the unit I'm using, which easily connects to multiple displays. Plus it takes my keyboard and mouse and tablet. Now, for the sake of a real world experience, I'll be recording this locally, as opposed to recording on the cloud computer. This will give you the same experience you'd get if your conditions were similar to mine. With all that out of the way, let's get connected. Here's my local zero client screen, uh, the login screen. I'm connecting to the AWS US West One data center, which is up in San Jose. Now I'll enter in my secure password. And in order to save time, I've already spun up a workstation in that data center. I could have several running at once if needed, but for this demo, we'll do just one. What you're looking at now is the desktop of the machine in the data center. At this point, you can use the computer as you normally would. Using Bebop, I have their dashboard, which allows me to mount fast shared storage in the cloud that's been assigned to me, plus enable little things like enable Mac keyboard. If you're interested, here are the specs on the machine. It's a base level 16 core, 2.3 gigahertz machine with 122 gig of RAM and a 16 gig CUDA enabled GPU. Because it's the cloud, if I need horsepower, it's easy to add more. I'm going to launch Premiere Pro 2019, which will load any plugins I have installed because again, at this point, you're just working in a Windows OS with your creative app. No additional tech hurdles to jump through. Next, we'll open up an unrendered project with various media and we'll see how this plays. Everything you're seeing right now is happening in the cloud. That includes all storage, all media, and this very Premiere Pro session. And then we screen record it locally to see what the quality is. Now, the first thing you wanna realize is the green indicator below. If that light is green, that means no frames are being dropped in the cloud. This first clip is 4K UHD Blackmagic RAW. This is 4K UHD Blackmagic RAW with a LUT applied. 
Now this, on the other hand, is a 4K UHD H.264. This is still a 4K UHD H.264, but now we have a real-time Lumetri color effect applied. This is still a 4K UHD H.264 with a real-time Lumetri color effect applied, plus a title. And lastly, we have a four-way split with multicam, all with HD H.264s. Oh. 